My brothers and sisters, do not underestimate the power of the words of the Quran. This is why when people tell me, I can't read the Arabic, I don't know how to read the Arabic, I'm struggling to read the Arabic, is it better to read the Arabic or the English? Can I read in a language I know? Uh, can I just read it in English? Let me explain. Even if you don't know how to read Arabic, the power of reciting those words without knowing how to read Arabic, it could have been transliterated or it can be just because you heard something and repeated it without knowing how to read it. All of that is still extremely powerful. It has 10 rewards for every letter that you're going to read. And on top of that, it has a powerful impact on the entire environment around you and your home and your entire surroundings impacted by that. So do not replace it with the English translation alone or something of that. That does not mean it's not important to go through the translation. Nor does it mean you should not do the translation and only do the Arabic because that's another problem. Here we're talking about the importance of that power that lies within the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in terms of protection. It's something amazing. So even if you can't read Arabic, please make an effort to learn to learn some of what you need to know. You have to make an effort, read it, recite it in Arabic without knowing how to read the Arabic language maybe or without understanding the Arabic language. All of that is, it's a point. We're going to get to that just now. But to get that impact, you're going to need this. You're going to need it. So make an effort. Don't be lazy. And don't come and say, oh, it's very difficult. If I were to tell you that there's something important where you're going to earn $500,000 by the end of the night, you'll spend all night learning that. Subhanallah, this is far more valuable than that. Now, the importance of reading the English language or a language you know, that is equally important in terms of understanding, in terms of connection, in terms of uh, you know, the rights of the Quran and so on. Yes. So you would be wrong not to make an effort to understand the Quran. Just like you would be wrong not to make an effort to recite the Quran. You would be wrong to, to read the Arabic without attempting to read or, or the meanings of what you're, you've recited, if you know what I mean. So both of these things are very, very, very important. I wouldn't put one above the other. But what I would say is the reward, the, 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 the impact upon your entire surroundings happens with one more than the other. And then the impact upon your entire life would happen with both together because you're going to need this and that. And in fact, to understand it, according to some scholars, is more important because the entire reason why this Quran was revealed was because of Allah wanting you to was because of Allah wanting you to ponder over its verses. May Allah Almighty forgive us all. May Allah grant us strength. 